Okay, so let's start this again. And we're live. Hello. I just did a live broadcast, but I was using OBS software and I've not really used that before, but it's because I've got the new Blackmagic Design web presenter and I normally stream through Wirecast, but my version of Wirecast doesn't work with web presenter, so I had to uh, use OBS, which picks it up just like a webcam does. Um, just had a warning on my Shogun that the battery's gonna go. There we go. Isn't live exciting? <laughs> oh God, what a joke. So uh, yeah, this is uh, Wirecast, which I'm using. Um, yeah, as I said, just was trying out OBS, but we were getting some serious sync issues with that. So just to test, if anyone's on YouTube watching, can you check that I am coming through on the syncs? Uh, I'm just going to have YouTube on in the background just so I can uh, see any comments coming through. Okay. Um, but yeah, because I'm going to get rid of that one. If you just watched, I'm just going to run through it all again so I've got a, a better version, hopefully. Uh, it's all working fine. Wirecast seems to be outputting um, everything in sync. So hopefully that's working. Just let me know in the comments if it's not. In sync, Matt Fox, thank you. Great, cheers. Uh, yeah, so the problem is then must be OBS because... Uh, I was getting a delay of about half a second and uh, I couldn't find any options to um, delay the audio uh, by by however long I needed to. Um, and there's not much help out there. It is open source software, so, you know, it's it, it's brilliant that it's free and available for everybody. Um, but I pay for Wirecast and haven't paid for the update just yet. But, uh, yeah, so... It all seems to be working fine. So let's run through uh, this. It's a two camera switcher and it converts your image to 720p or converts your cameras to 720p and um, does all the encoding in there so that when it comes through to your computer, it's not using the CPU too intensely. Um, I have the Let's switch to camera two. Uh, I have the Terranex panel, which is 70, uh, 70 pounds in the UK. Um, and you get this display, you get these buttons and this knob. Before this, so if you just buy it as the box, I think you can only uh, output one video source. So you can either have an SDI source or a HDMI source. Um, but buying the Terranex panel, I think it's called. Let me just check. No. It is called. Oh yeah, Terranex Mini Smart Panel. There you go. I had it right. Uh, I'm not paid to do this. But if I was, maybe I'd get it right first go. Um, so yeah, you get this this lovely display on the front. It tells you your audio signals as well, not that you'd be using that to check. Um, so I can switch between camera one and two. In this case, it's uh, switching between S SDI and HDMI. Um, the SDI source is actually my A7S, um, kicking out of the Shogun Flame SDI cable, Woo, right into the back. Let's have a look at the connections. Uh, so on the back, the inputs are along the bottom. So we've got the SDI. We've got SDI loop through, which um, just loops the SDI signal. So if you're going out to a recorder, you could use that. 
um, you've got the HDMI here and you've got the HDMI loop out which is just looping out that HDMI signal so even if you were switching between sources you're just seeing what co what's coming out of that uh, this program out for SDI is what I'm having to use with my Ultra Studio mini recorder into the computer because using the USB webcam doesn't currently work with the Wirecast that I have. I don't know why. Uh, so this is my workaround solution. Um, we've got our audio inputs there. And if we look on the front, let's just open that up a touch. Our menu system. So if we go through here, we've got audio options there. We've got this dial to cycle through menu, which is quite sensitive. Like it really goes through and it's only got three menus, so it kind of needs to chill out a bit. So we've got video input, menu, haven't used that, transitions. Let's, let's, let's go with a mix one second. Okay, things could get real funky here. Ah, <laughs> yes. That fado. Oh, yeah. Uh, let's try something else. Let's see what we've got here. So that's a mix. Let's do the dip. Do the double dip. Okay, here we go. What just happened? Just dip to black. Okay, uh, don't see how that's useful. But obviously this is first impressions, so have no idea. Let me just check the chat. Yes, all in sync. Thank you, Mike, for going through this a second time. So video and audio are your quick buttons to get into those specific menu items. Let's get rid of that transition because it is horrible. Let's let's leave it on a mix of 0.5. Okay, now let's go through to the audio. Set to go through. Master level, SDI input, and this is great because you can choose which audio you have output in. Because um, I currently have my C100, which is this camera, outputting HDMI into the back. And I've turned the sound off. If I just turn it on for a second, we might, we might start, start getting, getting um, duplicated, duplicated audio. audio. So I'm going to so turn, turn that off because it might sound horrible. Um, I'm not monitoring my sound. Uh, so... Again, just let me know if there's a problem. Then XLR, if you're taking a audio mix in. And RCA as well. And that's pretty much it from the menu. It's got a USB port at the front for updating the software. It came to me pretty much up to date. I didn't have to. Ooh, I'm, yeah, I didn't have to update it at all. 